Well, Roseanne, the university tells us Weiser was at his class on Tuesday night, and police found his body right here on Wednesday. But what happened in between is still a pretty big mystery, and Mobile police say uh, they're working on that timeline right now. Well, this is going to be a complicated investigation for us. Mobile police say there are some challenges the department is up against when figuring out who killed Dr. Matthew Weiser. Because he was uh, somewhat of a loner, uh, not having any family members or anybody that, that close to him to be able to kind of get an idea of who he was, what his his routines were, and things of that nature there has made it extremely difficult in trying to piece together uh, this particular case. While the case has its difficulties, Chief Batiste tells News 5 over the weekend detectives chased down several leads and they're making headway. There are obviously people that may be of interest for us, but we're reluctant to provide those names at this point simply because uh, as we interview and we talk about those things, Potentially, those suspects are watching to see how much information we actually have. Police may have a few people in mind, but they're still reminding people to lock their doors. Anytime we have a homicide and the person's not in custody, you know, obviously we want the, the community to be on high alert because uh, there's a, uh, a uh, homicide suspect that is out there. And if you have any information about this case, call Mobile Police. Reporting live on Gaylord Drive tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.